down here at the beach house. You know, down here in Florida, chilling. Feels good down here. There's a nice ocean breeze. You know, we had to move, move beach houses this morning. We're in our second one. It's been real nice. Let's see if anybody comes on here. Ooh. And where's all the notification people at? Oh, there we go. Yo, hey, what's up, dude? What's up, man? Just out here living a beach house life, you know? Still on vacation? Yeah, we don't, we're not leaving until uh, Friday. Two weeks. Beach bum, dude. Like, the beach is... I'm the second house from the beach. So, like, the beach access is, like, right over here. Like, I don't know if you guys can see it. You know. But we're in this this sweet-ass beach house in the middle of fucking... I think we're in some kind of Anna Marie Island outside Bradenton is where we're at. You know? Yeah, I'm not going home for a while. I would not go home for... My wife would love me. We could stay down here till the end of January, but she will not let that happen. Yeah, dude, I think everybody's on vacation, you know? Like, vacation is what you want to do. Uh, I went, uh... What was I going to say? I went to, uh... I went to Groom the other day and uh, rode with Patrick Riggs and a couple of his buddies, but we I did not bring any paddles. I don't think they would. <coughs> I don't think the state of Florida appreciate me ripping this thing up and down the beach. It might hurt some people. You think stupid went stupid? Stupid junk went broke from the six eighty six. I don't know, man. I don't know. Well, it's hard, kind of hard to read this shit, you know, because we're out here. It's breezy today. <coughs> this place is pretty nice down here. Have I made any bad decisions? No, it's only two days old. I mean, how the hell can you make any bad decisions in two fucking days? You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been to bed by 9 o'clock every night. You know, once the kids go to bed... I usually go to sleep. I don't really stay up all that long, you know. Have I had any calls from work? No, because I know I'm on vacation. Listen, I need it to be cold as fuck. I got to get these trucks back working. Last week, all it did was rain. We didn't do shit. Just hung out. I mean, right now, everybody's just... I have the guys cleaning the shop, cleaning all the trucks... Uh, fixing lights or anything that's fucked up. So I told him to do this week. <coughs> <coughs> but I like it when the weather's good, you know. But I haven't made any bad decisions now. I just don't think so. Let me shut this door. This place is awesome. Nice 30 degree weather. Yeah, uh, I think it's I think it's like eighty down here. It's supposed to be cool tomorrow. We're going to Bush Gardens. <laughs> oh, Brian Van Dipshit, you are hilarious, brother. Well, I'm trying to get that cash. You know, we're trying to get that cash. See how it goes. Um. Right now, we're just spending a bunch of cash, you know? Like, we don't have a lot of, uh, you know, cash is getting spent. It seems like that you save up all your money all year, and then in January and December, you spend it all. Two months, you roll through, like, fucking 200 grand. Like, just like, pfft. And it's on stupid shit. <laughs> no, Chris, it hasn't changed. We were staying with her uh, parents for the last... Uh, since we got down here, now we we finally moved to our own beach house. Like, um, the grandkids stayed over there, 
you know. And uh, we finally moved our own. But that must suck. You know, because I heard Seattle was pretty cold. Like, Danielle sent me a picture of it snowing. And I was like, in Seattle? And it's like, they got inches of snow. So, like, I couldn't imagine living in a camper van dip shit in, in a fucking blizzard. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's got to suck. That's got to suck. You're hoping the thing catches on fire. You know? So it at least keeps you warm for the four hours it takes the, you know, the fire truck to get there. But that's the picture I saw that it was snowing. That's that's crazy. Like, Seattle usually doesn't get that type of snow. I wish we would get some. We haven't got any in Cincinnati. We got one day, and it was like a dusting. And I don't think they did anything. Yeah. Like my new trucks? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm, they seem to be doing all right. I haven't got the ones that I ordered yet. You know, because people don't... <laughs> that is true. You don't want awkward headlines from the thongs. That's true. That is true. Yeah, that's what... Um, the person I put in charge, I call every night to see how it's going. And uh, the person I put in charge said, it's rained every day. Just disgustingly rained. A thousand emojis won't even keep you warm. Nope. Nope. The fire emojis will not keep you warm. You're going to need real heat. Down here, it's pretty nice. Ugh. Where we're at this island, it's packed. You know what I'm saying? There's people everywhere. Like, there is... I mean, you couldn't get another house on this motherfucker if you tried. You know? The driveway was real small. It's not made for... It's definitely... It would not be made for a dually. If you came rolling in here in a dually, you would be... You'd be fucked up. You'd be fucked up. You know? Like, one of my big old trucks, you wouldn't want to get her in here. You could get her in here, but they wouldn't like the yard after you did. You know. Ugh. Figure out what to do today. Then tomorrow I'm going to do some laying around. Yeah, we're on the north side of, it's called Anne Marie. It's the north side. There's a lot of people up here. I mean, there's houses on houses, Blake. Like, we're in this motherfucker. I think this. I think this house is like $700 a night, Brittany said. I don't know what the hell it is. But, like, it's fucking crazy. It's got, like, two houses. It's like another... There's, like, what they call, like, a... Like, if I if we brought Natalie and her boyfriend, um, they would stay over there and watch the kids. There is no COVID restrictions down here. Now, I've seen it, like, some places... <coughs> <clears throat> the mask have been kind of optional. Like, we went to a restaurant last night. There was one girl wearing a mask out of everybody in there. And then none of the people that came in were wearing masks. I haven't seen very many mask-wearing people here in Florida, you know. Yeah, the service truck would not fit in this daily driver. You're exactly right. But... So in Florida, if you're if you're coming down here, I mean, it's kind of like a. I would say it's like America is supposed to be. You know, there's no masks. There's no, you know, like they have signs, but nobody says anything. I haven't met any Karens yet down here. I mean, I'm sure there is a bunch of Karens, but we haven't seen any. It's been pretty nice. You know, most of the time, the people just tell us uh, how cute and well behaved our kids are. That's usually all they say. Oh, okay, between Anne Marie. We're actually out here on the island. You know, we're out here on the island. Blake, when did you come down here? Like, in December or something? I don't know, when you came to Florida. 
Now, I'll be looking for a shower here later. I'm in Anna Marie Island in Florida. We're in Bradenton. I don't know where everybody else goes, but this is where we went. My wife's family, my wife's, or my, what do you want to call that? My father and mother-in-law uh, rented a place in Bradenton for eight weeks. They're coming down here. Uh, so the grandkids, uh, Brittany talked me into bringing the kids down for let them hang out for a week and then uh, we're, we're hanging out for a week it's near Bradenton yeah. like you can go into Bradenton and drive straight out uh, the Mountain Dew is pretty good down there um, the stores are kind of out of it no I want to I want to be I like the cold weather I like the cold weather um I like the cold weather more than I do really the hot. Like, today is good. It's not, like, 90 degrees in the sun. I don't like it when it's like that. This has been pretty cool. Yeah, big-ass place where you stay. This place is fucking huge. It's up on stilts and everything. Oh, I don't know where Cletus McFarlane is. Is he in Bradenton? Where's he at? I thought he was Lake City. I didn't know he was in Bradenton. I don't. I don't follow. Them. I don't watch Cletus McFarland, so I couldn't tell you. You know, don't don't do anything like that. Don't watch those type of. Don't watch that type of shit. You know. Blake, how many days did you guys stay down here? Did you drive the Tesla? I was going to say, how did you make it? Ah. Uh, your boss has a second home in that town? Yeah, I'd like to get a second house down here. I think I'm going to turn some of the dump truck profits into, into one of these goddamn Airbnbs. I mean, these things are legit. <laughs> okay. Uh, Jam Bam, no, I'm not going to do any fishing. I don't know how... I'm not a big fisher man. I don't really know how to... How to do... Uh, how to do... Like, to catch offshore fish. <coughs> I can like throw it out and maybe get like a bluegill out of a lake or like catfishing I know how to do that but I do not know how to do offshore I don't know what they eat the person that she lives in Miami uh, Vicky Starks lives in Miami. That, that's who we should be calling. So you drove the Tesla all the way down here without charging it? There's no fucking way. Hey, country CEO. You're, 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 Blake, there's no fucking way you drove it straight down through here, bud. You know how many miles that is? There's no way that did a 1,000 miles. I mean, it's 972 to Bradenton from my place. Where did you stop to charge your car at? Because that took four hours. I'm pretty relaxed. I mean, there's not much to do. Like, uh, I've been pretty bored. Like, you know, like tomorrow we're going to Bush Gardens. That should be fun. Okay. Okay. That sucks, Michael Jones. Um, 
No, there are superchargers where we stopped at. How long does it take to charge it up uh, in the supercharger? Now, I don't have any flip-flops on. I got my Hey Dudes. Oh, okay. 15 minutes. That's crazy. I was going to say, I think he did carry a generator in the, the trunk. Um, Steve Paul, my wife is allergic to seafood, so we cannot go to any seafood restaurants. Um, so, like, we can't go to any seafood restaurants. And then Luca's allergic to eggs, so we can't go to a lot of breakfast places because if he, if they fucking use the spatula and then flip his pancakes, like, you got to EpiPen the fuck out of him because he turns all, like, plump and red. It's kind of funny. But I don't know if he'll, like, ever get over that or whatever. I don't know. But something about eggs. He's not into it. But I want to, I'll eat seafood. Like, I like, uh, I like king crab. I like lobster. Uh... You know, stuff like that. <laughs> uh, yeah, my wife's allergic to seafood. She will, uh, her, vo her, like, um, her breathing area gets restricted. Like, it, it'll, like, suffocate her. I always said it was, I always said the allergies is bullshit, but she says it's real, so we'll go with it. That Incibella's is pretty good. All right, I'll have to look that up, Blake. It's a... All right. No seafood. I love seafood. I only like... We went to this Chicago deep dish pizza restaurant. Never had Chicago deep dish pizza. It was pretty good. I had me a stromboli. Uh, we went there last night, and then... Uh, my wife's... Me and my wife's anniversary is Tuesday... So I think we're going to go to somewhere in Tampa. Uh, we're going to go to somewhere that we don't have. You know? Like we don't have the... Oh shit. What do you want to call that? Like the a restaurant we don't have in Cincinnati. We're going to try something down here. So that should be pretty cool. Tell you what, this is a huge-ass bamboo tree next to me. Jesus Christ. The Ford Garage. Well, we saw that the other day. Uh, we did not eat there, but we went to Shake Shack. Cause my wife wanted to eat there. Uh, we're going to be here till um, we're leaving Friday night. <laughs> or, yeah, we're leaving Friday night. Wow, Ron. I wish there was snow on the ground in south southwest Ohio. You know, but maybe it'll get there. It's supposed to be cold today, like 30-some degrees. You know? Yo, how to win. Facts. Facts. Dude's crazy. Yeah, hoping to have that stuff. Oh, yeah, if you're the one that sent me the video of Jay Young, I, me and my wife laughed. That was quite funny. Uh, we're going back 75. I wouldn't go back 95. That's wrong town. <laughs> you had your turtling on a dedicated hull? We've been hauling. We hauled a lot of salt, but then, like, it stopped. Usually it always stops. Unless it's snowing, it always stops the two weeks that are around Christmas time. The week in between Christmas, and then it seems like it takes, like, three days after New Year's to get fired back up. Every time it's insane. It don't matter what it is. I don't know what the hell these lazy motherfuckers do. I don't think they do anything. You know, 
I think nobody wants to do anything. They want to, like, they'll either come back in for the new year, and then Monday they got their thumb in their ass, and they really ain't going to do nothing, and, uh, you know, whatever. But I know that we finished, like, a lot of jobs the week of Christmas. Like, a lot of stuff got finished. And it's so cold that the asphalting's done. I mean, we worked... The, the, the plants closed the day of... Uh, shit, when did they close? They closed the December 23rd this year, which was really late. But that's... We hauled asphalt to then, considering last year, December 5th, they were all closed. So, you know, it is what it is. At least you have a dedicated run there, Blake. We ain't got nothing. I mean, something will come in in a week or two. <clears throat> you know, in this seven years of owning a company, the only thing that I've never, I've never, never done yet is goose egg a week. That means that, like, there's been no trucking income. I mean, I've never had that. Um, it's not a timeshare. It's an Airbnb. Um, I don't do timeshares because you got to go to the same place over and over and over and over and over and over a fucking again. I don't like that. Uh, we do a lot of Airbnbs. That's what that's what I, I that's what I like. Like <clears throat> we're gonna plan a vacation to go to Myrtle Beach this year, and then we have to go to Hilton Head, and then we'll probably do something again next winter. And uh, I always ask for I always have my wife do Airbnbs. Oh, yeah, fuck all that. Fuck all that, Blake. My shit's too pretty for that. Yeah, hopefully the sold is plentiful this year. That's what I'm hoping. You know. I took a gamble on it. You know, we're going to see. They said that we would have above average snowfall this year. So let's see if that's true. Yeah, Airbnb. I've never had the ver, but we're Airbnbers for sure. It's the only way to go, dude. You can get a bigger house. You can get a lot better place for way less money. I didn't want to stop eating. There you go. <laughs> Just take the tarp off. Send it over there. You know, that's what I would do. Like, ah. Jesus Christ. Oh, here comes the garbage people. Oops, I don't like it. Maybe, maybe not. Don't really know what goes on at this place, but... Yeah, this year we haven't destroyed very many tarps. Like, knock on... Knock on this fake bamboo, Blake. We did not destroy one. We did not mess one of them up. Uh, I think 2022 is going to be easier. I think it's going to be easier to get employees and they might be less about this bullshit that they were about last year. You know, I mean, business is always hard. It ain't easy. If it was easy, everybody would do it. <laughs> but it ain't easy. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you know how they say, like, pimping ain't easy? You know, it, it really isn't. Like, there's a lot of shit you gotta do. There's a lot of stuff you gotta put up with. You know? But other than that, it's not too bad. I mean, it'll be... If we made it through the last two years, I mean, how much fucking worse can it get? You know what I'm saying? Like, how worse can it get? You know? I mean, I'd be buying shit, you know? What, what is it going to be? Yeah, a lot of the freebies are running out, so they're going to have to go back to work. You're exactly right. And I think a lot of companies learned their lesson on giving. I'm not giving sign-on bonuses anymore. I'm not doing none of that. Because the people only stay long enough to get the sign-on bonus, and then they just fucking quit. 
or drag up. So I'm not doing that. I think a lot of other companies learned their lesson on that. You know, if these people, you know, I think we just got to starve them out for a while. Going to be a lot of oh, a lot of COVID fucking. See, but I now they made them so bad. You know, um, now that they made. See now the thing about this. Here's what they did. They turned them. work wants to come to work and have my schedule like where they think they can just come and fucking go as they please show up when they want not show up when they want i'm gonna go over here and do this minda i'm only gonna do that you know like fuck all you man that's not how it's gonna be you know it's not it's not how it's gonna work Yeah, I don't know if I can message Vicky. I don't know. I don't know. I'm with my wife. I don't think my wife would be very happy if I started messaging Vicky Stark. She would get pissed. Pissed. You know? Look at things. Running around here like these lizards. <coughs> Just out here looking on this... You know, this is probably a lot better than my office. You know? I'll tell you that. I would like to make this my office. I haven't figured out how to do that yet, but when I do, I'll let you guys know. Yeah, Blake, I mean, I think that they'll be begging to start at 15 again. You know? Because they just got to get a job. There is lizards everywhere. I'm in Anne Marie Island, right outside Bradenton. I am one house away from the beach, so I need to know. And then we're all in that sun bitch. There's a lot of lizards, though. Like, we've been looking around here at lizards and stuff. Like, Enzo and Brittany are down in the pool over there. They're swimming. That's probably what I'm going to do here in a little bit. Get about ten more trucks and hire a dispatcher and you can stay there. Yeah, that's, uh, that's probably what it would be. 30 you could probably easily man I don't know if I had 25 Blake I think I could do it but 25 trucks is a lot it's a lot of headache I mean next year we're going to go to 16 so you know 16 to it's, it's not that bad uh, you know We'll see it. If we could do, if we could do sixteen during the day and eight during the night, man, I'd be that'd be that'd be pretty good. I mean, that'd be sixteen. Yeah, that'd be twenty-four shifts a day. Yeah, that'd be just fine. We'd be just fine at that. You know. Because that eight shift would eight shift times six thousand. Yeah, that'd be plenty. Of, that'd be plenty. You know. Yeah, that'd be plenty. Um, I have a mechanic. According to some, 14 are a headache. Yeah. According to some, according to some people, I've walked on a lot of people's backs to get where I've got to. That was, uh, that's been interesting. No, I mean, 
14 or 16 and 8 is pretty good. That's a lot of trucks. That's a lot of headaches. That's a lot of tires. That's, you know, a bunch. I don't know what the dump truck rate would be down here. I've only seen a bunch of triaxles. Now, what I did here is there was this company out of, like, I don't know, some small place, but they were uh, a DBE or an MEE or something, and they got a lot of state work around here. Well, all of a sudden, they just started missing their deadlines and stuff, so they went out of business. Because when on the way down here, I saw a bunch of stuff. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I I saw a bunch of stuff that was like, man, it's Monday. Where are these people at? You know, where? why is it there are no trucks on these jobs? And then somebody told me that, like, a lot of places ran out of business. Ron Ratch, you should move to Cincinnati to be an asphalt hauler, man. Get out of that gravel game. That gravel game is no good. Uh... Mike, I don't want to. Michael, John, I don't want to hire anybody that has, you know, that I know is a, a drug addict or uh, how would I say this, a potential issue. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> has a little bottle problem, maybe. Has has some extracurricular activities. I'm not really interested in that. Yeah, but I, Shaka, I don't know if they let, if they let triaxles weigh eighty thousand out of here like Kentucky does. Kentucky, you can put twenty seven ton on a triaxle, like not a problem. <coughs> but it's like Jesus Christ. Uh, you know, I, I just don't understand. Well, I can be picky on who I'm hiring. The phone call list on hiring employees is pretty long. The shock of the roads here are actually in a lot better shape than the ones in Ohio. I think that because they don't get freeze and thawed, the, the, they don't freeze and thaw, they don't break up as much, and the underlayment of the you know, like when you wet sand down and you pack it down, sand is pretty fucking stable. It doesn't move. Like, you know, in Ohio, what do we do? We put fucking, we put, uh, yeah, I went on the Skyway Bridge, yes, into Tampa. Like in Ohio, we excavate down and then compact the dirt and then we put fucking limestone on top of that and then we pave right on top of that limestone. Well, that shit all moves a fucking round, settles. You know what I'm saying? It's just different. Yeah, Blake, you're right. They don't have salt on their roads. It's just a lot. It's a lot different here. I don't know if the asphalt combination is a lot better because sometimes when you come up to stop signs, you'll see that it's got these real bad braking bumps. And uh, we get that bad in Ohio, but not, not over here. Wow, Daniel. I mean, sixty-five thousand dollars for a machine shop—that's pretty good. I know a guy that take that right now. I think he's—I don't even think he's making that. He lives in Dayton, Ohio. Yeah, I think I think the freeze and thaw is what really fucks it up. You know what I'm saying? And then the hot and the cold, the hot and cold. You're in Dallas, Fort Worth. All right. Well, he ain't gonna move there. You know, a lot of my buddies were in Dallas, Fort Worth for the UC game. They, they got their ass handed to them the other day on New Year's Eve. So when was that? Friday? The game Friday? Yeah, they should be home by now. Twenty bucks an hour is, I feel like it's good money. You know what I'm saying? Forty hours—that's eight hundred dollars a week. I 
Well, some people look at sixty-five grand. You minus taxes, you're bringing home about forty-eight, which is pretty good. Maybe a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, Bama, Bama beat the shit out of Cincinnati. It's not good, and fucking Georgia beat the shit out of Michigan. You know, but you know who knows. I think Al I think Ohio State lost to Utah. Have I heard anything about my new trucks? Nope. We did get proof of life pictures that shows they were in the shop getting ready. Um, that's on the agenda next week to call and find out. You know, that's on the agenda to call and find out. So I'm probably going to have a guy come and pick the truck up. You know, I still have one more that needs to be traded in, so I'm going to have them do that. Oh, no, Ohio State won by three. I thought they were they were losing when I watched. Um, they were in there. They said they were having problems getting paint, which I'm like, you should have had paint months ago. Like, just get it and have it sitting there like, fuck, you know, Jesus Christ. You guys are ridiculous. Really what happened is, is the place drug their fucking feet, and I'm not happy about it. Uh, that's why I'm looking at another bed manufacturer. You know, to me, steel, steel, you know, we, we got to find something different here. Like, this is, you know, people need to learn their lessons that, you know, if you want to be just, you know, if you want to just continue to lie and all this shit... And promise one thing and then be 30 days late on your promise. I mean, I'm kind of burnt out on that. Yeah, it's nice out here. I hear Brittany yelling at Enzo. He's been an ass. The problem is, is that he's so tired because he's got, we've, like, we've ran his ass off since we've been down here. Like, we've been doing one thing after another, after another, after another. And they don't really get to rest very much. And, uh, they're fucking fucked. They're, they're, he, you know, the kids are both moody. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with uh, some Bow Rock stuff. Um, I'm going to go with some Bow Rock beds. I have two of them. They seem to be pretty nice. We'll try them. You know, little Bow Rock and stuff. Yep, I'm still off the smokes. Oh my god, Brian Van Dipshit, you're hilarious. Yeah, they just wait for. They wait forever. Um, the house is all right. We have everything. Uh, we have everything. We're going through the mortgage process right now. That's the only thing we're waiting on. That should be done by the time, hopefully, by February 1st, we have the mortgage figured out or, like, whatever. And then we're going to start breaking ground as soon as we can, you know, because it'll probably be nine, ten months. We have a contract signed with a builder and all that stuff. He's making us a final price how much everything is going to be and then we gotta we gotta start fucking getting after shit we gotta find somebody to build cabinets yeah Brian Van Dip shit I don't think I'll be using anything that you've welded or fixed you know I'm not interested in that imagine you running a business to where you live in the woods. Yeah, Andy, that is that is true. You know, I mean, I ain't living in no woods. I have a lifestyle to uphold. And, uh, you know, this is, this place that I'm at is, you know, this is, this is my lifestyle right here. You know. Now, I don't know if I would come down here in peak season at $700 a night. But, you know, the winter price is fine by me. 
I would. I mean, hate that. Think about that. Think about you be living in the woods, freezing your dick off. Like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Dude, try to build a whole city before he starts work. Ah, that's fucking funny. We got infrastructure in, man. I mean, goddamn, you got you got eighty grand in a driveway. It's not even concrete. I'm like, this doesn't make a lot of sense. You know, I'm not seeing eighty grand there, but okay, okay. And everything has been like, I like when you get told that you don't have enough credit. Jesus Christ, I laughed my ass off. Yeah, that's a pretty good job right there, delivering milk. Andy, that's one thing that I worry, too. I, I worry emotionally about his kids' well-being. And, like, you know, just think about I have We don't know if they go to school. They're old enough. They should go to school. Now, are they being homeschooled to protect them from the big, bad evil of the world? Or, you know, what's going on? How are these kids being educated? That's the... That's the thing that I want to know. <laughs> you know, it's one thing I want to know. Thirty-one dollars an hour, top pay, can't find good workers. No experienced needed. Driving a milk truck, delivering to local grocery stores. There you go. If anybody needs a job, that's a good one. That sounds pretty good. But do you have to get it out? I mean, public schools, school teaches you more about social skills than I think anything else. That's where we miss a lot of it. We miss a lot of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? We miss a lot of that stuff. Because we're, you know, we want to seclude ourselves. But social skills is kind of important. <laughs> yeah, Andy, that's pretty bad. You know. My driver is doing pretty good, you know. Yeah, hot dogs and ramen and cookies once a month. <laughs> ah, that's funny. That's funny. I remember one time I trolled Brian by sending him. There, we haven't had any repairs. I mean, I we have some stuff, but I haven't filmed it. Like we got to reseal. Uh, we got to reseal some shit. Whenever the mechanics come back down, they'll probably come back when I, when I'm there next week. I don't know who would want to. I know I'm not moving to California. There hasn't been. We've just been fixing stupid shit. Like we got to reseal an EGR cooler because it's leaking. It's not the cooler's not leaking, but the gasket too it is, and apparently it's a pain in the dick. You got to take everything off. I, I, I don't fucking know. <clears throat> I'm trying to think what else. Uh, shit, that's about it. Yeah, I'm on vacation. You have know, Captain Jimmy. We're all on vacation, bud. Prices are so different compared to Canada. Fifty to eighty grand more, dude. They're expensive down here. I mean, for these Western Star Forty Nine Xs, I paid two hundred and what did I pay? Two hundred and thirty-one thousand this year. Yeah, I did send Brian tools and shit to get him started. I help. Yeah, I helped him out, and then I also sent him. Uh, one time he got talking about about like how fucking how much money he had and all this shit so me and my my wife was listening to him ramble and why she did that she sent him a whole bunch of fucking steaks and 
lobster tails and all this shit with a note that we wrote that was like, you know, hey man, here's to much success. You know, it sounds like you're killing it out there. And wrote some shit. And make sure the kids get the cookies because I know they don't, they're not used to that. <laughs> it's hilarious. Yeah, the EGR coolers, they just leak from the gasket. You know, like, whatever. Well, listen, everybody wants to talk about trucks because that's what I'm kind of known for. Like, it doesn't bother me. You know, I'm on vacation. I'll talk about trucks. I mean, trucks are trucks, man. That's what they, you know what I'm saying? That's what they did. I did not send you that. Somebody else sent you that. Um, I haven't been to the beach. The wife went one day, and I went uh, to Croom to go four-wheeler ride. So its crew was about an hour and 20 minutes from here, so that's what it is. I'm going to go to the beach. I think I'm going to go Tuesday, Wednesday. It's supposed to be not as hot, so that's what I'm looking for when it's not screaming hot. I don't like going to sit in the sand when it's a million degrees. Well, I think Canada's money, I think Canada's money used to be, it should be. Oh, uh, the four wheelers doing pretty good. Um, it's not that hot. Like today, let's see. Uh, back home, it says it's 32 degrees. So, right now in where we're at, Brayton, it says it's 81. The real feel, uh, whatever. The real feel, fucking 88. Which that's not bad, but it's it's really breezy. You know what I'm saying? Really breezy down here. The high candy is unbelievable. I haven't got out there yet. And St. Marie City Pier used to have great grouper sandwiches. All right, I'll check that out. No, I'm not. I didn't do any. I didn't do any filming from Groom. Nope. We kind of just idled around there. I I hit it for like ten minutes hard. And uh, I realized I brought the wrong quad. The suspension was way too stiff, and I couldn't get it soft enough. Like, I had it all the way backed out. It was, like, it was too harsh in the hands. That place is so whooped out, it's ridiculous. I mounted it to the seat of the 85. It's got a lot of use. Uh, what would you haul in Florida? Well, apparently... Um, I saw that they're building a whole bunch of stuff in Tampa. It looks like they're building another road over the... I don't know what it is, but they're filling in next to the thing. So I guess down here you'd haul a lot of sand and dirt, or sand or whatever they want to call their dirt materials here. It looks like you're going to have to haul a lot of broken up concrete uh, because I saw a lot of the... They had a lot of bridge decks of concrete, so I know that they're going to have to break that up and you're going to all be hauling a lot of bridge deck. Um, let me see what else. Uh, and you would have to haul a lot of asphalt. I don't know uh, how many how many uh, days they really pave around here or anything like that. Yeah, I brought a little trailer with me. Nine degrees there in Missouri. Awesome. Awesome. We whacked Utah. I thought they lost. They were. They were. Looks like they were gonna lose. Now, I'm not a big. I'm not a big fucking Ohio State fan. Much welding lately. Now, I haven't done any, really any welding. I got to. I get back. I'm waiting on some parts. I got a bunch of shit to fix. 
helicopter coming in hot. Yeah, Daniel, that is true. There's nobody down here with face diapers on. I see very little. This is a toasty 28 degrees here in the Jayco. That's funny. Um, I'm pretty relaxed. I mean, I'm not... It, this hasn't bothered me very much. You know, like, really, I need to go down and... I'd like to get a tan, but... You know, it is what it is. Uh, the next quad build, I'm going to be working on Zach's, and then I got a hybrid build that I'm doing um, that I just haven't... just haven't got to it yet. You know? No. I don't know what the chopper is. It, it might be somebody doing tours or something. Maybe they have, like, a helicopter tour of the island. I don't know. Somebody out there doing Kobe. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what the hell they're doing. You know? I don't know what they're doing. But they flew it around twice, so whatever. Like Volvo trucks. Yeah, no. No Volvos, please. The country CEO was on here a little bit ago. That dude, he's into Max, man. He's got a lot of Max. If this was not the Coast Guard. This was a private helicopter. And that would be the the Volvos are considered uh, Max. Or Volvo owns Max. So I would consider that they share a lot of they share a lot of technology. The engines are the same. You know what I'm saying? They don't have anything bigger than a 13 liter, and they have nothing bigger than what 1850 torque. They used to have uh, when they had like the Mac Titan. I thought they had something to get the 13. They, I thought they had a 15 liter engine, but I can't find it. Uh, yeah, no, I have somebody doing it while I'm there. Who did you watch a little bit? I don't know who Frontier Specialist is. Wow, they came up to 700 horsepower. The last good Mac was an R model. I didn't bring the golf clubs. Because golf clubs, you got to have somebody to play with. I don't like going out and playing by myself. That's how you get a tan. No, the drivers aren't doing whatever the fuck they want. Yeah. Sturgill, one, two, three. Yeah. Dominique did get a T-800 pretty proud of the girl i mean the truck looks pretty nice um i think it's got a it's got a c50 it's got a cat motor in it it's got an 18 speed i think and uh it's got that uh and it's got the uh, shit what is it it's got that prop trailer so, like, in, with the reach on it, I was like, that was interesting in it. I saw it a while ago. Um, she bought that thing a while ago. But uh, I, I'm, she's going to do all right. Uh, Danielle's a smart chick. You know, her husband is a diesel mechanic, so he'll know how to fix it. And she's been around trucking enough to know the ins and outs. And she doesn't have a big ego, so she'll be she'll fit in just fine. She'll know when to keep her mouth shut and just drive the truck. You know? Plus, Dominique's easy on the eyes, so, you know, it helps. Yeah, Shaka Gillis, that girl does get a lot of dumbass questions. What I don't get is, like, there is so many guys on there that, like, fucking. Uh, 
they just borderline sexually harass her. This fucking house is just going to start banging some dude over a YouTube comment like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Like, that is not going to, that is not going to, that's not going to happen. Hold on. I just opened the door. He doesn't seem... I don't hear anything. All right, that's Brittany. Have you checked on Luca? He's fine. No, I didn't take a mechanic to inspect it when I bought my first truck. I just, you know... It was the only truck in my price range that looked kind of nice. You know, the other ones were just destroyed. So that's the one that I bought. It was all right. It was the turtling. You know. No, I'm going to go to... I'm going to... I'm ordering... Uh, by the end of... By hopefully this time next year, we'll have 16 trucks. Yeah, I'm definitely... I'm definitely happy for Dominique. I think it's... A great thing that she went out and bought her own truck. I think she's going to do really well. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if she has a fleet of trucks in a couple of years. Yeah, Luca, dude. Luca is my son, my two-year-old. Yeah. What's diesel going to be this time next year? Probably four and a quarter. The problem is they're going to have to keep raising the rates. That's the only thing you can do with diesel fuel this high. You know what I'm saying? With diesel fuel this high, it's going to have to be that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm building one special truck next year. You guys will see that one when it finally comes in. You're going to understand what I'm doing with that. Yeah, but I mean, I'm, I'm more than happy for, the, for Dominique. I think she's going to do really well. Really good. I guess she'll figure it out. But I don't know how she puts up with the YouTube comments. That's right. She, like when I told her is she just has to stop reading them. You know, just stop reading the motherfuckers, and uh, be a lot better. But anyway, I got to get off here because I got to go in and check on the kid. If Tesla comes out with a dump truck, would I buy one? Uh, probably not. I wouldn't buy the first model of something. I'd wait for a little bit. Brian got two hot water pressure, hot, hot, hot water pressure washers. Why? He doesn't wash any of his trucks. He's, you know what I'm saying? Like, those things look like shit all the time. They don't even take him to, like, a fucking streaking beacon or they even, you know, I know there's a truck wash up there, you know? why he would buy two of them I guess maybe to have parts you know you know what I'm saying maybe he's going to clean and repaint his 1960s equipment yeah I don't know you know I don't know what you do $4,000 no it's a new one Dude, four thousand dollars, you can get a hot seat for that. Like a fucking name brand one. I think my hot seat was shit, sixty some grand or sixty three hundred dollars. I wanna buy another one. I wanna buy an electric one. Wow. I wanna buy an electric one, the next one that I wanna get. Because it's easy for them to uh it's easy to plug it in. And uh, it'll have less moving parts. And uh, let me see what else. Just be less moving parts. You know, that's what I think I'm going to buy next time. He does need some Chemex stuff. Yep, I'm going to get some. I'm going to try this Chemex snake oil. But he said it makes the water just bead right off. I have to get some stuff from Bob. does need some connects but anywhere boys i'm gonna get off here you guys have a great rest of your time i'm gonna be chilling on vacation next 
next week. I'll be down here living the high life. You know? That, that's Enzo. Enzo's outside of the pool just having a great time. That's all my kids do. Just They swim and that's it. All right. Blake, have you tried some of the snake oil? Yeah, I use a foamer. We were just in Mexico. I wonder if I'm going to Mexico. Now with all the cartels. <laughs> no. Got that Kim X. I'm chilling. Thank you, Brian Van Dipshit. Yeah, I want to like... I like that stuff. Kimmick shit's really good. Makes it easy washing trucks. So, anyway...